It's Theory Time, Zelda fans. The big day is finally here. I've got Tears of the Kingdom installed on my Switch ready to go, but before I do that, I have one more theory for you. In all of the footage we've seen so far, all of the Sheikah text seems to have disappeared, and people like Zelda lore have pointed out there's these red malice holes on top of where the Sheikah tech used to be. And we also know all the Sheikah tech, like the towers and the shrines, is connected beneath the ground via these transmission lines to a central control unit beneath Hyrule Castle. And who is beneath Hyrule Castle? We assume Ganon. And what's Ganon trying to do? He's trying to destroy Hyrule. So my theory is that he attacks the central control unit, and that has a way of spreading across Hyrule, destroying all the Sheikah tech in one fell swoop and creating those malice holes that we see in all the footage. This probably means no more Shrine of Resurrection, as you can see it has these pipes which I think are also connected to that network. So Link better not fall in battle this time because there's no saving him. It's Tears of the Kingdom time, let's go!